Feel the waves like I'm on the shore I had to let her go so she want me more But I fucked that bitch so I thank the lord She hit my phone I press ignore I'm in super drive, hit the Uber driver Take it to the show, roll with us if you tryna smoke Roll a joint shit, pack a bow I'm still the same old stoner laying low But now I kinda crave go Still got bills that I can't pay for Good morning guys and welcome to Law School Vlog number 16 Today I have a very busy day. First of all, I have a deadline for the research internship that I'm doing. I need to, well, not finish my research paper, but hand in some stuff that I still need to do votes for. And also today the Primark in Groningen is opening and I was invited for uh, the press day, for uh, the press opening, which I'm super excited about because I literally live across the street from the Primark now. So yeah, I'm definitely going to take you with me. Guys, so I'm now at the Primark in Groningen. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Finally there is a Primark in Groningen and it's actually just in the same street where I live. So it's super convenient and I don't have to travel three hours to go to the Primark Armeira to just shop. And um, yeah, I'm just uh, looking through all the stuff. I, was, I thought it was kind of late, uh, but there aren't a lot of people still. And oh my god, I'm spotting something very cute. I love this dress! Oh my god! It's so perfect! This color! Also, I got this bag sent over from uh, the PR from Primark before even uh, the Primark opened and I think it's such a cute bag. If you follow me on Snapchat, you'll see me rant on the fact that I have way too many crossbody bags now. My Snapchat name is Lil Nappy Harris, by the way. Uh, you can follow me there if you like. Now I have to work my ass off because tomorrow I have my meeting uh, with my professor where I'm interning. Uh, for my research internship and she told me that I had to send her the paper the day before so it's not like a super super hard deadline like what time do I send it you know um, but I still have to do loads by the way if you're interested what it's about it's actually about how judges uh, motivate uh, their decision uh, so what kind of methods and um, like theories do they use uh, to come up with their answer if uh, like uh, the defendant is guilty or not and it's very interesting because there are like three main methods that I'm researching I really like the fact that this is kind of a very good example of how philosophy of law works in our daily lives. I think a lot of people have this opinion about philosophy that's very dusty, if you know what I mean. Like judges need to motivate their decision and they can use philosophy of law for that. So yeah, I think that's very cool and interesting. finally done with my essay oh my god i put so much work in it it's just so annoying i wanted to put way more effort in like the writing part that i did uh, not like only the research part but definitely like my the style of writing that kind of stuff 
but oh, I'm just so busy I didn't have time to put any more work in it despite the fact I think it's so super interesting but yeah I just I don't have the time to make it like a perfect essay and I just don't want to disappoint the teacher um, because she's really nice and I actually really like her um, yeah and I had a 10 out of 10 for her course which is awesome. I wanted to show you my outfit. So the fedora that I'm wearing is from River Islands. The choker I'm wearing is from eBay. Uh, this uh, leather vest is from H&M. And oh, it's not right. Let me fix that. Yeah. Uh, the blouse that I'm wearing is from Forever 21. And I bought it in the Netherlands in Amsterdam, but I also saw it in the Forever 21 in Washington DC. So I'm pretty sure you can still get it if you like it. I think it's like super cute with these arms and the lace up and it's cropped and the color is nice. I don't know, I just love it. Uh, my shorts are thrifted Levi's. My boots are from Sasha. I just recently got them and I think they're so cute. I love like... Um, the silver detailing and I also got this bag from Primark so I changed up my outfits because it was just way too cold and I didn't want to look ridiculous <laughs> wearing shorts uh, so the jeans that I'm wearing right now are uh, from Bershka by the way and the bag that I'm wearing is from Paul's Boutique and uh, now I'm going to go to the library because I have a fee I had three books and I didn't bring them back on time so now I have to bring them back and pay the fee and I'm maybe going to get some coffee just because I think like I deserve it. which is not a lot for three books that I, I don't know, got for like three weeks longer or something so I'm very happy about that and I didn't get a coffee because I'm trying to stay healthy and it's a waste of money too but I did get a new package from Miss Bob so this is what the top looks like on uh, don't mind my bra by the way I definitely need to wear a strapless nude bra underneath this but I think it's really cute it's like a little, like just a little bit big on me, but I still think I can get away with it. And I think it looks very cool with the choker. And yeah, this outfit is not so cute, but uh, I think this top looks amazing with some black denim. Like high-waisted denim jeans are amazing with this top, especially for like going out or something. I don't know, I think it's, yeah, I think it's cute. And um... By the way, if you also want to order something at Miss Pop, I have a gift code for you that works like forever, so it's not between a certain period of time. It's Lilia10 and you get a 10% discount off, so you're welcome. <laughs> quickly wanted to update you on my law school situation because I got a lot of questions about my cum laude, about how I'm dealing with all the courses right now, that kind of stuff, how my mock trial went. So I thought it would be kind of nice to make this little law school update for my law fam. Um, yeah, so first of all, in this um, in this last uh, period of my semester, I have three courses instead of Two, or actually I have four courses but one course is the um, uh, is the going to the jail every month uh, so that's already the whole year but uh, yeah I have three courses now I have labor law which I thought I would hate but I actually don't hate it that much I think it's kind of interesting but it's very difficult uh, second of all is um, civil law 3 uh, and the third course third course uh, is criminal law 3 that I didn't pass it's the first 
course that I didn't pass. Uh, I wanted to clarify that a lot of you thought that I maybe kind of dropped out or that kind of stuff or that I could still um, get my cum laude or that kind of thing. Just want to address the rules on our uni. Um, the rules for cum laude and cum laude, if you don't know what that means, it means that you pass uh, your bachelor or your master, like your degree, um, with uh, an 8.0 or higher. And there are even more qualifications. For example, you can't have a 6, everything needs to be a 7 or higher, and uh, you can't get any bad grades, like anything lower than a 6. If you get that, then you are disqualified for the cum laude. Um, and yeah, I like managed to do it almost three years and I failed at Criminal Law 3. So on the side, I'm also doing other stuff. For example, I'm applying now for my research master. It's a two-year master and it's one of the only masters that have like a application procedure. And uh, yeah, tomorrow is the deadline for the second step of this um, application procedure. Um, we have to hand in an essay um, based on like a topic that we got sent over and the essay has to be 600 words, which is not enough to be honest, because yeah, I don't know, I'm kind of stressed out and uh, hopefully I did well, because honestly, if I don't get into this master, I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. I don't want to do any other master. I just want to do the research master. That's how much I want to get in. The other thing that I'm busy with is the research internship I have for philosophy of law for honors college. Um, yeah, that's uh, also a lot of work. Two things I already finished. The first thing is my energy law paper. Uh, very happy about that, but you already knew that probably because you watched my Washington vlog. Second thing that I finished is my mock trial. I had an 8, which is amazing because although like I lost my cum laude, I still want to try uh, and go to the board and ask if they want to make an exception for me due to special circumstances. And uh, our cum laude, for our cum laude, we also need an 8.0 for our uh, mock trial. So it's very nice that I did have uh, this 8 because this means that if I um, like pass three courses with a 7 or higher, uh, then for sure I'll have everything that's needed for the cum laude except one and that's the rest that I had to take but uh, then it's easier for them to make an exception. Only ask for this exception uh, if I finish all of my courses. So I have to wait till the 22nd of June because that's my last exam and then get the results back and then I can start the procedure at our board and uh, yeah try if they want to make an exception for me. So I still have to wait for a very long time and uh, if that time comes, I will definitely update you on how it goes. Okay, I'm so bad, you guys. I just couldn't motivate myself to do anything today. And I was just thinking about chocolate ice cream. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab some chocolate ice cream. Well, I guess the damage is done now. This is my favorite ice cream ever. And the best thing is it's so hard to find, except there's a store right next to my house that sells it. So now it's time to remove my makeup and I thought I'd update you guys on my skincare routine because I added an extra step. Um, this is called a konjak sponge. It's a Japanese sponge. It's made like from a Japanese root. It kind of scrubs your face and making it like softer at the same time. It kind of leaves a very soft layer on your skin. It's very, I don't know, different than most sponges that I used before. Um, I use it like not every night, uh, but I do use it every morning. You can use it with a cleanser or you can use it on its own. And what I like to do is first remove my makeup with the cleanser and this removes all of my makeup. Sometimes I double cleanse, but usually one cleanse is enough. And then I also uh, kind of scrub, exfoliate my face with this sponge and then I do my skincare routine. So. I think I'm going to end the vlog right now. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked seeing like a old school law school vlog again. And if you did, please thumbs up this video because then I'll definitely continue making them. And yeah, I don't have anything else to say. Have a fucking amazing day and I'll talk to you later.
Bye guys.